really happy right now. Uh, feels good to be back in the cage, and you know I've been working a lot of stuff the last year, and I've been saying it over and over, man. I've been fighting for free for all the members in the gym, and it's nice to get paid and, and to do it for the fans. So uh, you know I'm really happy with my performance, and I'm, I'm happy with my team. And Nick did awesome. Jake's next. Uh, Nate's next. Um, I love those. Yeah, it's it's I'm, I'm I'm loving it. Great job. Yeah, definitely. I think I, I put a lot of pressure on myself, not only uh, with the buyout, but, you know, like I said, I've been campaigning. I'm the number one fighter in the world and put some pressure on myself to make a statement. But, uh, you know, Cowboy Jerry's not a, no joke, you know, so, yeah, the pressure was there, but I'm, I'm happy I performed, you know. I'm happy I performed for Strike Force. I've been a part of this company for a long time and I'm trying to represent, you know what I mean? I, I know I'm not the UFC champion, but I've been a lot around this sport a lot longer than Frankie Edgar and Gray Maynard. And if you um, go look at the stats and what I've accomplished, I think I've accomplished more. Not to take away anything from those guys, they're great fighters, you know, I just try to represent for my, my, my organization and my team. Um, like I said, fighting is a way of life for me, and um, I think Green Rust is for those who don't fight and don't train. Um, my boys have been fighting, and I, uh, there's plenty of times where I'm squatting with them, and I feel like I'm three weeks away from, uh, you know, staying in shape for a fight. So uh, this is my career, this is my job. There's no way I'm gonna, just because I didn't fight for a year doesn't mean I didn't train, you know? And in fact, it was great, so I gotta really uh, try to reinvent myself again a little bit more and add some more things to my arsenal. So um, yeah, man, no ring rest. And uh, like I said, this is my job now, man. I, you know, this is what I do. And I, I train hard, so I, I'm 100% ready, so I can live with myself whether I want or lose when I walk in there. And that takes a little pressure off because you know, you feel confident when you prepare. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Um, to be honest, I would like to fight in our cage. I like our hexagon. I think it was even a little smaller tonight. I felt like the challenger's cage, I think it was. And, uh, you know, the UFC cage is real big and it's almost a circle and people can backpedal on their bicycle a little bit more. And I think, uh, um, you know, Gengar was able to do pretty good in the cage too. He's kind of used to it. I think Jardine likes to backpedal a lot. He fights good backwards, but uh, I felt like he kind of hit the wall a lot more than usual, you know. And, um, you know, our cage is cool. It makes us fight a little bit more. Um, so, but, I, but yeah, man, I, you know, now that Alba's won the ball, that's really cool. And uh, I've been to some UFC events, and the energy's crazy and great in there too. So there's a lot to take into account. But, um, but yeah, man, it's uh, something I'll adjust to. Yeah, man, um, thank you, Jake, for being like, like role models and stuff, and you know, same with Caesar, man, he brought us all together, and, you know, I started from scratch with these guys, so it's like, you know, I'm a Nate Diaz fan, I'm a Nate Diaz fan, I'm a Jake Shields fan, it's, it's, you know, it kind of runs deep for us, so, yeah, man, it's, it gets emotional out there, at least, at least for me, and, uh, it's, it's fun to watch it, man, it's like, it gets real discouraging in camp when I spar like Nick and Nate and Jake, I'm like, I'm not ready for a fight, you know, I think I'm, I'm getting my butt kicked and shit, so I'm like, and then I go fight, and I'm like, these guys are like 10 times easier than my teammates, so and it just makes me feel how good our team is. So, uh, yeah, man, I, I love watching these guys. It's, it, it means a lot to me, you know? We're, we're, we're more than a team, I think we're a family. Um, yeah, I, I could, usually I'm a little more technical with my elbows, but it was just, I, was a, I was able to be um, vicious with them, and I just kind of jumped on the opportunity to drop some mean elbows, so I was kind of pumped on that. But, uh, but yeah, man, I think it's, um, you know, it's a great part in the sport. I think we should be able to use all our weapons, and I'm happy we get to use those. Uh, you know, I think Jake Shields is one of the pioneers on elbows for ground and pound, and he showed him showed me how to elbow pretty well, and uh, I'm happy I get to use them. Um, I haven't used them for, since like my sixth fight, because after that I started fighting in Japan, and, and Strike Force didn't allow them for a while. Um, I think it adds to my game, and I'm pumped up about that.